So we're keeping things casual today. I'm in like these peaches that I got for Christmas and they have little sheep on them. Time for another current reads. I don't have a set TBR because I wasn't sure what I was planning on reading for the month of January. Um, given the fact that I had been in such a big book slump. I'm going to talk about some books that I'm currently reading, including one of which I have already finished. So this is Everything I Never Told You. It's about a biracial family living in Ohio in the 1970s whose middle daughter is found dead. That is the very first line of the novel, so it's not a spoiler. And basically the whole novel revolves around the questions surrounding her death. It's not really a thriller, it's not fast-paced, though it is um, tense. It has a slow but steady pace to it. And it's more of a family portrait where you're just peeling back the layers of all these characters throughout the novel. And um, the, the father in the family is Chinese American while the mother is a Caucasian woman and they're living in Ohio. The story deals with racism and sexism and prejudice in a small community very well. It's, it, it's there and it's present and it's subtle but it's not the focal point of the story so really you just see how these, how these themes affect and impact and shape the parents into who they are and also how that, that has an effect on the way that they parent their children. Without straying too much from the actual family unit and the family dynamics surrounding the disappearance of the middle child Lydia who is also the favorite of the parents. So it's very interesting, it's very emotional, it's quite sad and and I really enjoyed it, so I would give it probably four stars out of five. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely glad I picked it up, and I'm glad I managed to finish it. The next book I am currently reading is called The Timekeeper. I've heard so much about this book, and it's pretty short. It's only like 230 pages, so I thought I'd give it a try, and so far I'm really liking it. So there's this man who invents the first clock, and he is punished by God for trying to measure God's greatest gift. After many, many years of punishment, he's given a chance to redeem himself by, by trying to convince two particular people on earth the meaning of time. So it's really interesting. There's a line that I really like in the very beginning. Birds are not late. A dog does not check its time. Deer do not fret over passing birthdays. Man alone measures time. Man alone chimes the hour. And because of this, man alone suffers a paralyzing fear that no other creature endures, a fear of time running out. So I'm really liking it so far. I'm only probably 70 pages into the book, but it's definitely an interesting premise. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already for more content such as this. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.